Hi everyone, it's been a long, long time since I posted a video. Uh, lately I've been working on ultrasound and while I'm waiting for some real equipment to arrive I decided to see if capacitors, off-the-shelf capacitors, would work um, as piezoelectric transducers. So this is a little experiment that I've put together and we have a 1 megahertz transducer down here and a little cup of water and some elastomer to couple into the water. We're driving that with a signal generator, um, just a you know, generator a moderately strong ultrasound field, about one megahertz. It's actually a little bit less than that at the moment. Then at the tip right there we have a ceramic disc capacitor and this is just a brass tube that I've got to kind of make something like a needle, needle hydrophone. Um, it's a one nanofarad capacitor, it's pretty old, I don't know the exact dielectric but uh, you know it's some kind of ceramic. And then up here we have a little buffer, um, there's a FET amplifier, it's set up for about 8 millisiemens trans transconductance and then we have um, just a, a simple emitter follower after that to drive the coax and that's driving back to my oscilloscope here. In green is the transmit waveform, you can see the ring down of the transducers so I'm using a signal generator just to produce a sinusoidal pulse, we send 5 cycles and then turn off. Um, the um, I guess you call it pink or red signal there is the is the trigger waveform coming out of the generator and the yellow is the signal back from the hydrophone you can see there's some latency um, which is actual propagation delay so it is actually an acoustic signal not electric signal and if you move the the transducer you know, near the wiring for the transmit side you can see the direct path um, just being picked up because the shielding isn't you know perfect but um, yeah so not surprising, I suppose, that, that piezoelectric materials that are used in, in moderate value capacitors are um, indeed piezoelectric and can be used for transducers. I mean, the transducers know when your resonance this is like the f one of the first capacitors that I found that, uh, that actually does the job that had any sensitivity. But my, this was essentially my just test setup. I just got a little cup of water and then I could plop different capacitors in there when I soldered them to you know, little bits of wire and had a look at them um, with the oscilloscope to see if they had any sensitivity. So I'm um, going to now hook this up to a, uh, an XYZ scan platform and actually do some spatialized measurements of transducers using this. Well, um, yeah, it's been a while and uh, YouTube was telling me that I, you know, I haven't posted for a while, so I thought, why not? Let's talk about some of the experiments that I'm doing right now. Alrighty, bye.